Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yogi O. Welcome to Daily Discipline number 653, primarily in a row. My name's Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here, honored and humbled that you keep coming back like for reals. Hey, it's Friday. That means it's an F it Friday, which means we can do a couple, one of a couple, uh, any of a few things. Number one, we can say F it and we can just do that thing that we're like, man, I should try that. But we've been hesitant to do it for whatever reason, right? As long as it doesn't hurt somebody else, as long as it doesn't bring harm to you and your family, why not give it a try? Seriously. Oftentimes, we make it out to be worse in our head than it actually is. The other way we can do it, we talked about this a couple weeks ago, you get to a point you're just tired of a situation like, F it, I just, this is never going to change, no matter what I do. And sometimes you get to that point, you're like, this is not worth that, whatever juice is coming out of there, ain't worth the squeeze. Regardless, it's an F it Friday. It's a work day too. So we got work to do. Let's do it. Last day of July, 2020. You're going to miss me saying July, aren't you? Me too. Uh, 731 2020. It's a work day. I got work to do. I'm sure you do too. So let's do it. First things first, still the realist. You know what else I'm on? I'm trained. Yeah. So, you know, this week I've been going through some things. I actually have a call here in about 20 minutes and it's kind of basic stuff. And I try not to get offended when people are like, oh my God, I didn't know you knew that. Like, come on. Right. I think I've been doing this for a long time. I've been paying attention. I've done it at a high level. This is a market condition, not a Rob Hoback condition. Nonetheless, I'm trained. I'm also trained on how to control my emotions now. Can always do better, right? But uh, with that, let's move to our real talk. And it's this, are you planting the correct seeds? I, I started to write the right seeds. It's not the word. Are you planting the correct seeds? So if you think about it, um, you know, I was talking to Mrs. H about this the other day, you know, about, about being generous, right? About, and whether that's your time, it's any resource that you have, your energy, your money, you know, your knowledge that you're sharing it with other people. And so, um, but you can share, you can plant, you can share things that you probably shouldn't be sharing. They're going to plant seeds that you don't want to like racism, like talking about people behind their back, um, lying, you know, and the point is this, I was talking to Sam about this, that as adults, we say one thing, we're like, Hey, do this. But then the children see us behave in a different way. So what you got to ask yourself is, when I don't think that I'm teaching, but I'm just being me, what am I, what kind of seeds am I planting in my kids' heads, right? And as a coach, man, I'll tell you, you know, just being at practice, you're like, man, there's like 15 different personalities there that come with 15 different levels of perspective. And you just got to make sure you're planting the right seeds. They got to be positive, um, you know, nurturing, things of that nature. Challenge yourself. Are you planting the right seeds? Let's do our thank yous and then we're done for the day. Number one, God has been good to us in the good times and the bad. Thankful for Lou Henson. Lou Henson died yesterday, uh, former head coach of the University of Illinois basketball uh, team, the Fight in the Line. I called him the Lou Do, right? Remember he had the comb over? But yeah, he died yesterday. Uh, he's one of a handful of guys who've taken two college programs to the NCAA tournament final four, which is impressive. So rest in peace, Lou. Uh, ba base, blah, 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 blah. Basketball started again last night, NBA. Got to watch LeBron for a little bit before I fell asleep. Just, he's so intense. Love it. Uh, another thing that I forgot to mention yesterday that I'm thankful for is this show that the kids I've been watching, Ultimate Tag with J.J. Watt. The last, or the season finale was, uh, what, yesterday, day before? We just love watching it together as a family. It's time to play some tag. It's awesome. If you haven't checked out, maybe you should next time. Uh, I'm thankful for visions, right? Where we have a vision. We're like, we can't explain where it came from, blah, blah, blah. So last night I was out, we were out practicing and I'm watching all these people in the field with just like, just janky, right? Like, and I'm like, man, my vision, whenever I, whenever I speak it to somebody, they're like, oh my God, that would be amazing, right? Um, I'm thankful for St. Jude, uh, regardless of what happens this weekend, right? Like I told you about the vision that I've had that I would, you know, be the, my family would be the one that would win that, that dream house and how we would immediately be like, hey, we're not even going to move in there. We're going to flip that thing and we're going to go start the VIL, the VOP. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm just thankful for those visions, right? I'm thankful for St. Jude, all the beautiful things that they do for other people and the, the reactions that they have and, um, you know, just saving kids, right? Like, how can you not have a safe or a soft spot in your heart for sick kids? Thankful for Aunt Jen, right? They're probably doing their last minute packing right now, and they're going to be heading down here to Oklahoma to live, right? Thankful that I'm coming off of daddy duty with Sam, Addie, and Jack. We had a good visit, right? We really did. Um, Jack is very, very restless right now because he's used to just going out and doing things so for him to be here all day long and i'm sure it's the same way when he's over at his mama's 
it's just a lot for him, and it's a lot for the rest of us too. But uh, just ready to get back in the swing of things. I'm thankful for the time that I get with them. Um, it's a lot of fun to take them to the conditioning and watch, uh, you know, how Addie and Jack behave. Anyway, I'm thankful for today. I'm thankful for what tomorrow brings. I'm thankful for it all. I'm thankful forever. With that, we're done. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. Appreciate you stopping by on an F it Friday. Take that shot. Shoot or shoot, right? And we'll be back tomorrow. Hope you can join us for Saturday morning prayer breakfast. We'll see you then. Hashtag real talk. Deuces. Love you guys. See you later. Bye.